Israel. Uh, well, let's go to Jeffrey Robertson now, the human rights lawyer. I mean, George Bush says, look, I have to listen to my lawyers. I'm not a lawyer myself. They said it was legal. How can <laughs> he, he is a lawyer. He has, he has a law degree from Yale, and ignorance of the law is no defense. It's very clear that in uh, the definition in international law of torture is uh, officials imposing severe pain, physical or mental, uh, in order to extract confessions. And there is no doubt uh, to any honest lawyer that waterboarding does do precisely that. So uh, ignorance of the law is no defence. He's an ex-president, uh, as General Pinochet was when he came to England, so he doesn't have any immunity. Uh, so I think you could say that uh, writing or publishing this book, and he obviously he took advice before he uh, rendered himself potentially liable, uh, may constrict uh, George Bush's retirement travel. But on the other hand, before he was uh, president, he didn't travel outside America I, much. I think he only went to Mexico. So uh, I don't, don't think that will trouble him. But uh, technically, in the countries which have ratified the torture convention, which places an obligation on them uh, in relation to sus people suspected of ordering torture. They should either uh, extradite, uh, try them themselves or extradite them to a country that will. Uh, he may uh, face problems. So if he came to Britain, would there be an obligation to arrest him? Well, there would certainly, the T torture convention certainly encourages uh, investigations and uh, the book rather amounts to a confession that he ordered waterboarding. However, there are ways it would have to be arranged under the Diplomatic Privileges Act. Uh, he could come as an ambassador perhaps and uh, obtain immunity. But that is a matter that would, uh, I think, severely test the... Uh, Foreign Office were he uh, to come and, uh, and see his friend Mr. Blair. But uh, in any event, he's obviously made the calculation that there are countries where uh, proceedings might be instituted against him, uh, uh, those being countries he has uh, no desire to visit. Jeffrey Robertson, thank you very much indeed.